If you're wanting to know how to find 404 errors and broken links in Google Analytics 4, this video is going to walk you through exactly how to do that and an easy way to fix them so they won't affect your user's experience and your site. So let's get started. 404 errors, also called 404 links, dead links, broken links, or 404s are links to pages that don't exist. And when visitors click a link to a non-existent page, they're often seeing 404 error notice. Now, in some cases, they see something like timeout or web page cannot be found, but 404 is probably the most common. Now, this can be because the website's closed down, the URL is different, or the page is moved. 404 errors can hurt your SEO because search engine bots can't crawl what's not there, and this can cause lower search rankings and you'll lose traffic. It also means you'll lose customers and sales. Plus, having too many 404 errors can make you seem less trustworthy and you'll lose revenue. The easiest way to track broken links in Google Analytics is with Monster Insights. It tags 404 errors in Google Analytics and you don't have to make any changes to your site. Monster Insights is the best analytics plugin for WordPress. It allows you to easily connect your WordPress site with Google Analytics, both Universal Analytics and GA4, so you can view all the data that matters most right on your WordPress dashboard. Plus, with a click of a button, you can set up sophisticated tracking features like event tracking, e-commerce tracking. Plus, you can easily track forms, custom dimensions, outbound links, media, and a lot more. And Monster Insights adds super helpful data to your 404 errors in Google Analytics to help you find them and fix them with ease. First, you'll need to use Monster Insights Pro. So head over to the Monster Insights pricing page and select Monster Insights Pro. Now, once you're all signed up, you'll need to go to the Download tab and download the zip file for the plugin in your account area. Next, go to your WordPress site and on the admin sidebar, select Plugins, then add New, and then click the Upload Plugin button at the top of the page. Now you can either choose File or just drag and drop the zip file here and then click the Install Now button. And once that's done, just activate the Monster Insights plugin. Okay, now you'll need to connect Google Analytics 4 or Universal Analytics or both to your site. Now this is gonna install the analytics code on your site automatically. If you want more details, check out the link in the description to our guide on how to add Google Analytics to WordPress. Now to find your 404 error pages in Google Analytics 4, you'll just need to put together an exploration report. That might seem a little intimidating at first, but once your report's set up, it'll be saved and you won't have to create it again. So to get started, go to the Explore tab and then choose a blank report. Now you can name your report, something like 404 report if you like, then click the plus sign in the dimensions box. Now search for and import both the page title and page path plus query string dimension. Next, click the plus sign in the metrics box. Then search for and import the sessions metric. Now click and drag both your dimensions into the rows box and drag your metrics into the values box. Then click and drag the page title metric from your dimensions box down into the Filters box. Next, choose the filter Contains and start typing in the page title of your site's 404 page. If you're not sure what your 404 page is, just type in a random URL that doesn't exist on your site and it will produce an error page and then you'll just need to look at the URL in your browser. Now, after you've applied your filter, now you'll have your report of your 404 errors that have occurred on your site in the time frame that you have set for the report. Now keep in mind that the page path plus query string row is often cut off, so you'll want to click the download icon and download your data so you can see the complete URL. Now in most cases, you'll find URLs that look something like this. The URL is structured so you can understand the 404 error and how to fix it. The 404 error URL is after the question mark page equal query. Now this tells you that the 404 error URL is, in this case, forward slash error page URL slug. Now the error URL link is on the page appearing after the and from equal sign. That means that the error page links from that page, the example.com page. 
If there's nothing here, then the error is a result of a direct visit, such as someone typing in a URL. Now you know how to find 404 errors using Google Analytics, and it's time to do something about those broken links. So here's some tips on how you can fix them. To find your source URL, you can use the Monster Insights or Google Analytics 404 report method to find where those 404 links are. And you can set up the 301 redirects if a page is moved or was deleted. This is often what creates that error. So you'll need to set up a 301 redirect to point users to a page that you'd like for them to go. The easiest way to do this is by using the all-in-one SEO redirect tool. Then if a visitor finds and clicks on the old link, it will automatically send them to the new or correct URL. All-in-one SEO redirection manager makes it super easy to monitor and enable 301 redirects on your site. Minor issues like spelling mistakes or extra characters in URLs can also cause 404 errors. You can use data from Google Analytics to find these links and then redirect them to the correct URL or possibly fix them altogether. And there you have it. In just a few steps, you can find and fix 404 errors and broken links in GA4. With Monster Insights, you get the website stats that matter. See why over 3 million websites use this. If you're not already using Monster Insights, there's a discount link in the description. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this. We'll see you next time.